Yes. I would expect. What else would they be? Not brass. So what, like, tub super stainless? <laughs> super stainless. I don't know what you can put in there that wouldn't rust. Oh, fuck you. Hey there, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. We're fixing a toilet because the bottom of this toilet, the, the output of this toilet, happens to sit directly above station two on my workbench, which is my workstation. Ah. Did you find a nice surprise there today? Um, well, this toilet is leaking onto my workbench, but it's leaking in the best way that a toilet can leak. So we got lucky there. Because either it leaks like out of the pipe, and that's really bad, or it leaks out of the hole around the pipe, which is also really bad, but if you gotta choose, this one's way fucking easier to fix. So, this toilet, just with age and wear, the, uh, there's two bolts. If you look next to my ankles, you'll see a bolt on the bottom of the, each side. Mm -hmm. Well, those can work their way loose over time, and it just happens because, I mean, you have a very not forgiving seat that flexes and moves, and, uh... That's what somebody needs to make, a suspension for toilet bowls. We have it, and it's right here. Oh, well, there you go. All right, I'm going to pop this off and hand it to you. You're going to set it in there, this side down. Okay. Okay. It is porcelain, so be very careful. There you go. That was fun. Okay, so... We're just going to leave that. Ah, I should take it off. It's... Goes out. I'm going to take the seat off just so we don't break anything. Because toilets are surprisingly delicate. Oh, they're porcelain. Seat isn't. Huh? Yeah, but the seat attaches through the two little bolts and I don't want to pop anything or break anything. We've got security here. It's going to be okay. She's on the job? Yep. Okay. I think she's sleeping on the job a little bit. It's hard being that dark. <laughs> this, by the way, is if you're working on toilets, or if you make a habit of working on toilets, get this Klein screwdriver. It's the SO2 12 inch. It's the 12 inch big straight blade. Fucking glorious for working on toilets because it can reach all the way down to get the bottom tank bolts and uh, still have the handle above the top of the tank. Which is a thing you really learn to appreciate when it happens. How did you learn how to fix toilets? Doing it. You broke some? Yeah, just fucking having, having to be the guy fixing the toilet. Nobody else is around to fix a toilet, so I learned. And they're really not hard. Like, anybody watching this, you can do everything I'm doing. It ain't fucking rocket science. Okay, so here's the thing important to know. A toilet is a P-trap. In fact, one of the most important functions of a toilet is sealing off the sewage pipe. Because this, out the bottom here, that's straight to the sewage pipe. But you can see the water path for the toilet here. So this down here always has water in it unless you get a shot vac and clean it out. Okay, that's why there's always water sitting in the bottom of the toilet bowl, is that acts as an air seal so that you don't have sewer gases from down here leaking up into the room and stinking up the place. That's not how it works in Nicaragua. No, in Nicaragua you just Dump cut the a water hole. in. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to lift that off. 
Oh, I want some water. See water. Uh, there's always going to be a little bit of water, and you just wipe that out later. Okay. So, wow. Mm. That's way bad. What? Uh, see how there's no. Okay. See how here. clean this is right here. Mm -hmm. That should not be that clean. <laughs> So what's there happened have here, material there. there should have been a lot of wax. Half the material from that? There should, yeah, uh, there, there should have been a great deal. This is where the wax ring goes. Holy crap, that's hollow. What? That's cool. Well, yeah. Yeah. If was... Jesus, if it was solid, it'd be, well, you wouldn't be able to make it solid. I didn't even think about it. I it don't would know. crack in manufacture. All right, so we got to clean this off. we got to clean that off. And, uh, and that's the job. I don't know, those are for here. And you want to just lightly, you want to clean all that off, but not enough that you really scuff into the porcelain. Um, this is going to be fucking nasty, so. We've got a trash can right behind you. Left in the house. Huh? That might be all the paper towels left in the house. God wouldn't do that to me. I mm. have a secret stash. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a little too small? What is <laughs> So that's just wax? It's beeswax. Huh. It is the system that has been used for generations of toilet. You see that? Now look at this. Here's a wax ring and seal. It's supposed to be in There's the... another wax ring and seal stacked under it. Oh my so god. Somebody did this before and didn't take the old one out? Yes. Now, somebody redid the floors in here. What? And they put tile in, and the tile raised up the floor. Whoa! So they just thought stacking wax rings was the solution. It's not. And uh, this does not surprise me with with uh, so, yeah, what we yeah, found yeah, in this house. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, really right, not so one bit. I'm going to take this and just gently put that in the hole, and that'll help keep the funk down. Okay. Now, I may not get enough lift with this, is my concern. But there's this accordion. Now, I've never used one of these, but Everybody I know that is serious into plumbing mojo swears up and down. This is the greatest fucking thing ever. Show us a box. It's the Fluid Master, better than wax. I can't believe it's not beeswax. <laughs> See? Oh. Oh, I like you. I think that's how it do. I think you can have plenty of lift. I think I'm okay. I'm going to read the instructions. I've read the instructions. Okay. <laughs> and uh, our existing bolts are in good repair and they're fine. You, uh, you want to take that paper towel out before you secure all that down? I get there. I'm just not there yet. Okay. This is really fucking cool. All right. So a thing to do now that we've had the rehearsal. See, now I can actually teach it. All right. So this is so nice. I love this. This. This is so much better than what I'm used to in this kind of project. Alright, so you'll have metal washers and plastic washers. Put the plastic washers down first. And they, they just zip on. Like that. 
And the plastic washer will hold the metal bolt roughly in place. The previous person didn't do this. Um, depending on where you're doing this and how jank it is, and ain't no jank like fixing old toilets in houses jank. Yeah, worm that on the top, and then once it's on, you can just force it down like that. All right, so these keep your bolts from wandering off. First thing you do is put this on the bottom, and it goes with the foam side down. No. Yes. Plastic side up, foam side down. So that goes on there. Oh, that's not what you did before. Well, that's what I'm doing this time because yeah, so the first time was a rehearsal. This is this is oh, for reals. Okay. Okay. And then this goes on here. And now when the toilet pushes down, that's all just going to crush, and this is going to form a good seal to the bottom of the toilet, better than wax according to the box, and we're good to go. Cool. So yeah. Gloves off because now we're dealing with the cleaner parts. Excuse me, sir. Okay, Stephen, I'm going to grab this and hover down. Okay. Your job is to make sure that the bolts come through the holes if I have any difficulty. Sometimes this is easy, sometimes it's a two-person knife fight. Okay. How many one-person knife fights are there? You need to go to one of my family's weddings. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're on. We're good. We're down. All right, so, with your animator's eye, verify that that hole and the apex are perpendicular to that plane. That's good to me. Yeah, okay. Stephen approves. I need the hardware for the bottom. Excuse me. I don't. Oh, wait, I got shiny new hardware right here. We'll use this. What's that? <laughs> I, I assume those bolts are standard. I think they. Not only are they you standard, would think. they're American standard. As opposed to metric, okay. It's No, it's like it's the biggest toilet brand. company in the world. American oh. standard. <laughs> right. But that's a sterling toilet, so it didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not up on your fucking uh, humor. They're not standard. These are different. <laughs> no. They really do. These are too small. Or they just put weird bolts I on. I was so them. proud of that joke. That was a good joke. Did you laugh? You laughed. Dog, dog thought it was funny. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, those are the, what the caps attached to. Oh, I'm with you. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Things are going that way. These are fucking nylocks. Who puts nylocks on a toilet? Who stacks two beeswax things on top of each other? That's a fair point. We've already established these people who lived here were crazy. This has been ground off a little bit. Okay. Like with a Dremel or file or something. I got so many questions. Now when you tighten down a toilet, don't over tighten it. That's super bad. Because it's really easy to Tighten the toilet so much that you'll actually break the fucking toilet. And, uh... It's, it's surprisingly easy to do. So when you tighten the toilet down, it's like finger tight plus a quarter turn. Max. You want a wrench? I Got a know. wrench. Okay, tank. Tank first or seat first? Tank.
Okay, I'm gonna land it. Okay. You're gonna guide the three pins on the bottom. Okay? Okay. 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 And we're in hardware three. Actually, give me the seat next. Yeah. Are you sorry? And the two gray nuts. If the seat on your toilet slides when you sit down and like wiggles side to side, under the white caps at the back, you pop these caps up and tighten these nuts down here on the bottom and it'll make your seat not slide around. If you have nuts that look like these, they're kind of hard to show now, but they have like a hemispherical top. It's a big plastic four-way wing nut with a hemispherical top then those are really easy to snug down finger tight and uh, finger tight plus a quarter turn like that. If you don't have the sexy spherical nuts on the bottom of your, of your toilet, spend a whole like five bucks and get a pair because they really help. They make it a lot easier to get your toilet seat centered and it won't wiggle. Cool. And now I have to place it. All right. Grab that little wrench you had and see if it fits those. We might get lucky. Ugh. The wrench that was on the lid. Does that happen to fit those? Yeah. Hey. Also, a fun thing to note, despite how gross that looks in there from the iron deposits, the water in your toilet tank is the exact same water that comes out of the tap in your kitchen. You can drink that. You can work in that. You don't have to freak out about it. This is just gross because this water, toilet water, goes into a porcelain tank and then sits there for hours and hours and hours at a time. So, in our house where we have really shitty fucking well water that's it's like gross. about 20% straight iron, 10% straight sulfur, um, the iron leaches out against the walls. Never seen one with three before, that's pretty cool. That's why the shower looks that way too. This is a recent toilet. Yeah? Yeah. Very recent. How can you tell? Um, it's a 1.6 gallon toilet, which means it's a efficient one. Mm -hmm. um, somewhere in it, it's probably a manufacturing date if you examine the back here. But yeah, this, this toilet is like, it's got this type of valve, which didn't exist when this house was built. Didn't they used to be the floaty ones? Yep, floaty bolt. I like floaty balls. My parents still have oh. that. They're easy to fix. I like floaty balls. Yeah, you just bend the metal thing. <laughs> We've done that a few times. But just the, the mechanism on this is very modern. That's good, I guess. Not really. I like old toilets. Okay. 
how do you fill it up with water? Well, down here is this thing. Just a little angle cock. Put that on there. And grab a pair of pliers. First thing you do is check here for leaks, check here for leaks. When you open this, open it all the way. Don't force it, just open it all the way. There be water. Such quality water. So disgusting. Ugh. We need a whole house water filtration system really bad. This is station two right here. And that is the toilet. I'm ready! No, you're good. Oh, looks good. That's good. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys. So, to recap, we've replaced the wax ring with the new better-than-wax thing. These are like seven bucks at Home Depot, and oh my god, this is great. This is absolutely the better. It, it is better than wax. I like it. So, it does what it says on the tin. And now you know the basics of how to install and uninstall a toilet. So there, that's today's captain's blog. You guys have fun. See ya. Gracias.